Hello, greetings, beautiful people, and thank you to, for tuning in to Movement Medicine Morsels today. Today we're going to add a mantra, a special uh, meaningful syllables, very meaningful, to our breathing, and see what that feels like to add some extra depth to both our breath and also to movements that we're going to flow with. So this has to do with the field of prana, and that means the topic as well as the field of energy. So prana or pran is synonymous with chi, and as you know, I mix um, qigong and yoga practices together because I think they're just perfect together. And prana is often thought of as our breath, the breath that comes in, the energy that comes in, but and prana is so much bigger than that. It's also the energy behind respiration. It's the energy that helps us digest. It's the energy that grows trees. It's the energy in everything. So when we engage with the pranic field or the chi field, which is identical, we, if we open up our minds to see that prana and chi are infinitely abundant and animate everything, then we can start to engage a little bit more actively with bringing more of that in and letting out more of what might be old or stagnant or in the way. So having said that, let's warm up our bodies a little bit. I'm gonna slide back a wee bit and let's plant our feet because we want to have a, our physical bodies as a lovely channel for this energy. Wiggle your hips, get them nicely settled, plant your feet, and then grow tall, grow tall. Imagine the rib cage floats up a little bit off the pelvis, and then the skull floats up a little bit higher, so every part of your spine is nice and long. And let's inhale, raising our shoulders, inhale through the nose. Exhale, breathe out with a sigh nice and relaxed. Two more like that. Start to notice how much breath you can get in, how much you can release without straining or pushing. One more. And let that go. And now with the same calm breath, let's circle the shoulders. Inhale up and back and exhale down and forward. We're going to add an elbow movement. So when we inhale, we want to open the palms and the elbows lower back. And when we exhale, we want to rotate the backs of the hands and we can bend the spine a bit now. Inhale, we open the chest and we really breathe in. Exhale, we turn the backs of the hands and press forward. Inhale, we let the chest open, let the elbows drop. And two more, exhale, roll the shoulders forward. Inhale, really roll open the chest and let that prana come in. One more, exhale, shoulders roll forward. Inhale, chest opens and allow yourself to come to neutral. A little bit more twisting of the shoulders to add to what we've done. We're going to take the hands out and extend through the wrists, push out through the palms. Rotate one shoulder and rotate the other arm and then just reverse. We'll keep those wrists extended. I forgot there for a moment. And we're basically taking a little bit of a deeper twist into the shoulder and then a release. So the shoulder rolls forward, that corresponds to this. And then when the fingers turn back, that corresponds to this movement. So just in the shoulders, a little bit of twisting. <sighs> Inhale when you come back through center. Exhale when you twist. And one more time each side. Ah, <sighs> Nice movement. And release all of that. Now we're going to flush the breath a little bit more because when we can get the old stuff out, we can often receive more new. So inhaling, fill in, and then with a little bit more force and some sound if you like, and we'll bend the spine. You don't have to pull your stomach in, you just wanna press the breath out with enthusiasm. So inhale, 
And again, just one more. Let yourself take a nice, big, slow inhalation. Fill the chest, hold the breath in for a moment, lower the chin, just let yourself float here full of breath. Relax the chin, relax the chest, exhale, and check in to see how you are. If that breath was a little too much for you and you feel lightheaded, just slow it down. Just let yourself breathe naturally. You'll settle down. Maybe someone out there feels like, whoa, I'm really awake now. That's called bastrika. It's a form of bastrika, bellows breathing. Let out all the old stuff. Let it out. Hopefully you feel a little bit more connected to your breath. So we'll add a seated meditation with so hum. When you inhale, inhale the sound so silently. Don't even move your tongue. It's a psychic sound. You're bringing in this beautiful energy with an internal psychic sound, so. And as you exhale, hum. You can even add this hand gesture. Inhale, you're bringing so beautiful healing energy into all of your cells and exhaling hum. you're releasing the old breath inhale so you're not making the sound you're doing it internally hum. so we'll take just a pause here here so as you inhale Make psychically the sound hum as you exhale. And I'll tell you a little story from yoga. We have certain gods and deities, which are basically vibrations of prana, different frequencies of prana. So we have Vishnu, who is the great maintainer. He's the one who gives us the beautiful healing breath. He's the energy behind all of the medicine, all of the healing. And then we have Shiva, the Lord of releasing, letting go, transformation, all of that out. So when we exhale, we release everything old. We say goodbye to all of that. And we lay that at the lotus feet of Vishnu. And on the inhalation, we receive that healing, revitalizing energy and we bring it into the belly and into every cell of our body. As we exhale, we release with the blessing of the great transformer, we let go of the old, and we surrender that at the feet, the lotus feet of Vishnu. Inhale, we bring in the fresh pran. Exhale, we eliminate, we release what needs to go, even the products of elimination like carbon dioxide. Inhale, we breathe in the oxygen that oxygenates our blood. Exhale, we breathe out carbon dioxide. So there's this wonderful conversation, but there's also this incredible well of energy that comes into us if we are open to it. So we're not just breathing, we're also drawing in the energy from the trees, the sky, the earth, from all beautiful, nourishing things. So that is how we breathe with Soham. And let's add it to another movement, which we're going to do standing. And we've done a lot of the warm up for it, but let's just shake out a little bit. Shake out any dust bunnies, make some sounds, let that all go. And for further refreshment, stay suspended and start to swing. Just gently release. We're softening. We're surrendering. We're taking off our armor. And we're trusting in the beautiful healing field of prana the ocean of prana in which we live that also creates us, or the ocean of chi, if you want to use that terminology. Let's just loosen the hips up a little bit, do some circles. We've done some nice loosening up for the shoulders and just a few times in the opposite direction. 
and relaxing. Okay, we're going to bend our knees a little bit and embrace a big ball of prana or chi. The elbows are lifted and exhale, we're releasing, we're letting go. Let's just do the movement first. Inhale, we roll the shoulders slightly forward. We open up, remember this movement, and we really open the chest so we can really breathe in. Then we let the hands tumble down slowly, rotate the backs of the hands forward, and then we exhale and we release. Inhale, we bring the energy into the center of the heart. And exhale, we round the arms and we bend the knees. Let's do that again for the movement. Inhale, the shoulders roll forward so that they can roll open and you can just swoon and receive. Let the hands come back. Exhale, the backs of the hands come through. Inhale, bring the energy with prayer hands into the heart, the seat of consciousness. Exhale, soften the arms. I'm gonna turn off my bell. That's my bell to say that we have a couple more minutes to complete everything that we're doing. So the movements are fairly straightforward. Now let's add the mantra. So let's start by inhaling, suspend, breathe just naturally here. You can already begin your soul as you're inhaling, imagining that you are drawing in such incredible energy from the benevolent and generous universe, from the lotus feet of Vishnu, from the mother of the universe, whatever you want but it's more than air. You're bringing in life force energy. Let this be an inhalation now and exhale, soften your knees and embrace this energy. And now, so as you inhale, hum as you exhale and release forward. So as you bring the beautiful energy into the heart, hum as you let go so you're ready. So as you embrace the beauty of the universe, hum as you let go whatever you don't need. So as you fill your heart with the magnificence and hum as you prepare yourself. So as you let the universe come into you, hum as you clear out any obstacles, so as you bring in the sweetness, hum as you prepare. Now I'm going to do it silently. You do it silently as well. That means you're psychically making the sound. Stretch out your breath and the inner sound. Let's do one more together, even if our pace is a little bit different. Drink in the universe. Let out what no longer serves. Illuminate the heart. ready. Bring the feet together, gather all of this incredible energy and bring it right in to the depths of your body. Let it feed your digestive fire, your respiration, your muscles. Let it feed every part of yourself, your emotions, your mind, to bring tranquility and stand quietly, still repeating the psychic mantra, so on your inhalation, hum on your exhalation. Let this simple and potent mantra bring rhythm to all of your systems, beginning by bringing rhythm and mindfulness to your breath and leading 
our nervous systems and our hormonal systems into tranquility and balance. And may Soham continue to repeat itself within you and be mindful of it different times of the day. You can sit quietly and repeat the mantra. You can do it in public places. No one's going to know, but you will be benefiting yourself and benefiting others because it'll change your vibration and make it you will become an agent of peace many blessings thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time bye for now